Okay, so something that isn't mine for a change. A Fender G Deck. Practice amp. Turn it on. And it does that. Click, 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 click. You can hear the amplifier ticking and it's trying to power up. There's some sort of power problem in it. And we're trying to fix it cheap because these are not extremely valuable. So I suppose we should open it up and see what the deal is. Well, my first comment is, this sucks. Um, <laughs> the All of the electronical pieces, parts that I would want to look at, we got a crap ton of surface mount stuff up here. But <clears throat> I would assume that our power is going to some... I mean, this is a transformer, so we should have a linear power supply. Um, I would assume that the electronicals I'm interested in looking at are on the flip side of this lower board, so that board's going to have to come out before I can even look around. Yay. Well, this is going to be fun. He lied. Okay, so... <clears throat> just trying to get a general handle on what we've got going on here. We've got our power transformer comes in right about here. And we go through some strings of diodes to what I assume are voltage regulators here. So, if one of those voltage regulators is whacked or rubbish, that would explain a good chunk of the problem. So, let's go that way and check some voltages. Okay, so we're back with the Fender G Deck, and apparently we need more cowbell. But anyway, um, the process of fixing this really wasn't going to be very educational. Um, <clears throat> I ended up ripping through it and checking all the voltage rails and found that the 12 volt voltage rails were low. There's two regulators in there. I changed those out and got the voltage back up to 12. Still didn't work. Uh, learned the hard way that if your speaker ever becomes disconnected from your uh, TDA 2050 power transistor, that will just go up in smoke. That was great. And then when you put it on, you got to be really, really careful that that stupid insulating washer is there because you don't want the heat sink grounding to the chassis. That causes very bad things to happen, too. Um, in the end, it was probably one of these digital ICs, not on the top board, but on the bottom board. There's some digital ICs and ended up doing the laptop trick where you just heat the board with a paint gun until all the potentially cracked solder joints fix themselves. And then I started working again, so hooray, let's finish putting it back together.